everyone, this is Fancy Esk and welcome back to Dawn of Man in Mystic Black. When we left off in the previous episode, we discovered the wonder of pulse processing, although we did not get to the cereals that are a little bit far from our immediate territory. Now today, we are going to be doing something a little bit ambitious. For the first time probably in our history, we are going to be trying to take down a woolly rhino. I have spotted this adult male that is by the lake, uh, not close to where we live, but he's by the lake, the same lake that we live next to, and we are going to try and take him down because we need points. We have four points, we need another three to be able to upgrade to a new technology, and I'm so sorry, Woolly Rhino, but you have survived the... Was it the Neolithic? Was it the Paleolithic? I think it was the Paleolithic. You survived that absolutely fine, but I think it's time for us to... To kind of get into contact with your giant ass horns. So, without further ado, guys, I am going to call our our hunters, our warriors, and we are gonna get them going on this puppy. Now, I feel so bad for him, but it must be done. It must be done indeed. So, we are going to wait. We can already see a bunch of. Nope. I saw someone and a dog. Oh, I can see the hunters. Okay, and this um, woolly rhino is quite a difficult one. Its health is 700, and when we look at um, the, uh, was is it primal vision? He comes up as red, like bright red. So I don't know if these people are going to be able to take him down, whether or not he's going to fight back, he might. So we're just going to have to see if they can succeed. I see four hunters and a dog coming out. Two dogs. Four hunters and two dogs. So, I don't know how that's going to go down. Okay. So we've got... Um, two women. Oh, four women. Okay. So four women have decided to go and hunt this creature down. We don't know how it's going to... Um, I don't know if it's gonna actually go down or not. I have no clue whether they're gonna succeed or not. But we'll have to see. It is summer, so it's prime time. I get the feeling that maybe this is the other point in the season where maybe the humans are getting a little bit cocky. See, the other option were these mouflons, which were green, but they're a family. They have mom and dad. I, d I didn't wanna kind of tear them apart, whereas the woolly rhino is on its own. Like these guys, they're responsible for helping the next generation move on. That woolly rhino doesn't seem to be with a family group. Normally when I've seen the woolly rhinos, they've been with um, a, a young calf or something, and then I've been unwilling to hunt them. But since this one's on its own, I don't entirely mind. Okay. Where is it? Just over this ridge. Just over this ridge. Oh my goodness. Also... I've noticed a lot of these humans have blue eyes. Is there anyone with brown eyes? No? Maybe? Oh, we can see it! We can see it! I have no clue how this is gonna go down. That thing looks huge. That thing looks huge! It could like impale all four of these people together on its own. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, let's see what they do and how this goes down. Oh, look. They're all crouching in hunting mode. Where are the dogs? Oh, the dogs are there too. Look at the dogs! The dogs are also crouching. Oh, yeah, it's gonna fight back. It is gonna fight back. And I don't even know if we have the appropriate weapons to take this down. <gasps> okay, the rhino's got low health, and we took it down! We took it down! We got two knowledge points from that. Wow! Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second, guys. I am so sorry. Um, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can't even talk. <gasps> twelve meat. We're getting twelve meat from taking that thing down. Wow. Okay. And uh, no one got hurt. I think. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Points galore. Points galore. Wow. Well, I am so so sorry, Woolly Rhino. I don't know why I thought it would put up more of a fight, but it did. It actually attacked us, whereas normally, um, is that what differentiates the different um, color coding along with the health? 
like how strong an animal is it's also whether or not they would attack like for example all the green animals we've hunted they don't attack they don't try and defend themselves they just run whereas the the cave lions the wolves and seems as though these guys yeah they'll attack you okay well these guys seem to be going good look at the little kiddos look at the uh, little kiddos Oh, it's a little boy. He's got brown eyes. How you doing? Doing good? Doing good. Is it me or do we have a lot more females? Like, I see a lot more baby girls than I see baby boys. Hmm. I, I don't know what that what that's about. But, oh my goodness, we got so much meat from that. So much meat. It's like, yeah. We pretty much doubled our meat amount with that one hunt. I feel like if we go hunting now, it's going to be a little bit excessive. Now also, oh wait, hold on, where is this person going? Is it going to get the the creature's bone? Where was the creature hunted? It was hunted, let's see. Oh wow, okay. So yeah, there's, that's a lot of stuff to be taken. So I guess this guy is coming with the sledge to collect all of those things, hopefully before the predators get there. So that's good. Oh, oh, really? We need two sledges. We need both our sledges to collect all of those resources. Wow, and then some people are even going just to help out on their own. And a new human was born! <gasps> Surin! Let me have a look at you. Oh, hello, little girl. Oh, I was just wondering, like, when are we going to increase the amount of little babies we have? Because um, when, once we max out the amount of kids we have, then I like putting in um, more huts and stuff. So since we've maxed our population, I am going to be putting down another little, um, little hut hut for us. I put down another little hut. And I think I want to put it in this area. Like right over here. That's kind of nice. It's cute that this is kind of a path. It's like a clearing path to this area. But no, I'm going to put a hut there. So, let us not waste time. Let's build a tent. And yeah, we also have a lot of dry skins, which is important. Uh, we'll keep getting sticks, that's fine. But the thing with the dry skins... Like, last time I wanted to build a bunch of huts and stuff, it was a bit difficult because we kind of... There we go, I'll put it there. We didn't have a lot of dry skins. Because we weren't doing that much hunting. Although I feel like I've been pretty good on hunting. Yeah, we didn't have dry skins, so we had to wait ages before they made whatever it was they needed made. So okay, we're going to make that hard and increase our population capacity. But let's have a look at where the, the sledges get to where they needed to. Oh. I want to have a look at this. I want to have a look at this. Oh, look at that. Okay, so they gained quite a bit of... They, they managed to put quite a bit of stuff on that sledge. Although, they probably didn't get everything. The sledges do help out. See, look at that. He got the last of everything on that sledge. Nice. So they do help out, but... Yeah, when you have this many resources, you kind of need a lot more. That's pretty cool though. Look, they're coming back with their sledges and all of all of the stuff that they gathered. I love it. That looks so cool. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad that the two sledges I made is actually coming to some use. Cuz I was really concerned. Oh. Hello. For a second my controls didn't move. I don't know what's wrong with my controls. And look at this Oroch. Why is it going so crazy? I have no clue. This adult male is just... Oh. He was running like crazy. I was like, wait, wait a second. What's happening? What's happening? And I don't know what's wrong with my controls. But it keeps freezing and not responding. Uh-oh. And I don't even know how to move. Oh, wait. I guess I could do edge scrolling. I like using my keys. But the keys seem to be having some problems, so I guess I'll just edge scroll. That's fine. Okay. Well. Oh, look! They already made the hut! 
What happened to our, oh, okay, so our capacity is 24, great. Means we can increase our population if we want. If you think about it, we don't have that many people. We have like a classroom full of people, not even. Like we have less than a high school classroom full of people. That's crazy, I'm managing an entire little society going on here. Wow, workload's 24, so it's pretty balanced. That is so fascinating to think about. Hmm. Well, we have room for more births and migrants, if anyone wishes to come and join us. And I think we might have to do some more hunting, if not hunt- Oh, I don't know, should we do hunting? See, I don't feel like we need that much hunting, though. Yeah. We might have to go out of our way, actually. <gasps> oh, look, it's a pack of hyenas. It's a pack of flippin' hyenas. We have an old female over here, though. An adult male, adult male, adult female, and an old female. Whoa, do we want to hunt the hyenas? They're, like, so close by. They're so close! We have a lot of meat, though. I feel like we wouldn't need to hunt, but it's an old female. If it's an old female, then... What if it's... Like... She gets hunted by a predator, then we lose out on that meat. I don't know, do we want to dive into a pack of hyenas? Where'd she- oh, is this the old female? Yeah. I don't know. Look, and you have a bunch of little pups. We got like four or so. They look like they're moving away, but do we want to attack a pack of hyenas, everyone? Is that something we want to do? All these questions. All these questions! I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. Look at this hyena. Look at this hyena. They look kind of scary though, don't they? Oof. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Like, look, if you look off into the distance, you can already see where we've got our little things for dry skin set up. And are these, are these grains we can harvest? I don't know. But I'm so tempted. If we hadn't hunted that woolly rhino, I wouldn't have thought about it. I would have gone for it. But the thing is, we have quite a bit of meat already. And food resources. So I don't know if we want to take these hyena down. Like, if they attacked the camp, then we would definitely jump for them. But do I want to right now? I have no clue. We'll leave them be. We'll leave them be. But also, did we have any... Were there cereals around here? No, it's a beech tree. Yeah, we've got Bali nearby. Okay, well, you know what? I think we're gonna try and... Hmm. Should I be thinking about grains? Should I be thinking about grains? Maybe we should, because all we've done is stick to collecting berries. Even though for some reason... That's odd, okay. Well, it looks like pear tree doesn't have anything. I need to send- do I need to send people to collect stuff, honestly? Or have they- Hold on a second. I think they've already collected everything they could in our immediate area. Which is why we're not getting anything. Okay, if that's the case, yeah, I think we've collected everything. See berries, yeah, all done. Okay. Well, if that is the case, then I will remove this work area and I'll put another one down. So that we can harvest wild plants. So this one we've already done. We've got a bunch of berries here. And yeah, I think I'll put a work area there. Because we can um, harvest some rye and some raspberries. And I'll do four people. So that we can have priority because summer is about to end. Although I think rye doesn't matter when you harvest. Oh no, you can only do that in fall. What about the other ones? Is that the same? Yeah, okay. That's actually fine, you know why? Because look, summer's coming to an end, fall's about to happen. So that's actually perfect timing. Wow, I didn't realize that you can only harvest then. Which is stupid. <laughs> There's probably an order as to how things are done. It makes sense if you plant these type of things in spring or summer, then you harvest them in fall before winter, right? That totally makes sense. But obviously, that's not something I think about because I don't farm. <laughs> okay. 
Well, there you go. Now we can get rye. Is that going to give us some extra points if someone goes out to get rye? Okay, little baby. Little baby. I'm sorry, but you can't... You can't get the rye. Okay? You can't get the rye. You're too young. You're too young for this business. You need to... You need to tell your mom or dad to come. Oh, 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 oh. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Okay. Um... This woman is going to the rye. I want to see how this is done. <gasps> I'm so excited. Let's have a look. Okay, so she's just cutting with... Is that the bi biface or is that flint? I think it's the biface that she has. She's kind of just cutting them down. Ah, this looks so cool. This looks so cool. Harvesting rye, harvesting rye. What a fun, fun day. What a fun, flippin' day. Just over here in the fields, harvesting some wild rye. So fulfilling. So fulfilling indeed. Okay. Well, there you go. I don't know how much we're going to get from all of this, though. That's a good question. How much do we get from this? I actually have no clue. I don't know how much we are going to get. Hmm. This is the first time we're getting grains. How exciting is that? I'm going to rush this on through a little bit. And a storm is brewing. Oh. Just the one? Really? Oh, wow. I mean, it makes sense. A bag full of grain. All of that. I was aware of that, at least. How much it takes to just make a bag of grain. Has she put that away already? Hey, but do we, don't, we get, don't we get some points for harvesting grain? Isn't that a, a thing we get? Going to skull pole. What are you going to the skull pole for? What, you're gonna offer the grains up? Nope. Okay. She's gonna do a little bit of morale hunting, and then she's going to take the grain back to where it needs to go, I think. So they can make flour, and then they can make uh, some bread. But it's storming, peoples! It's storming! This little girl is- are you, are you eating some meat? I think so. She's by the fire. Look at her. She's so adorable. So adorable. By the fire. There's- oh my goodness. It is storming like crazy in full. Okay, peoples. Where's my- Is anyone going to make some flour? Because I, I feel as though maybe you might want to make some flour. No flour? Okay, we're gonna- we're gonna go harvest some more grains, okay? Now where is- actually, I could send. Okay. Let's get rid of this. I'm fairly sure we could just send people out to grab grains from... Okay, well, I want to put the work area here, and we'll do four so that we can harvest all of these. So I'm basically going to be finding everywhere we can get any bit of cereals, and we're going to start harvesting them. Oh look, there's some on this end where the hyenas are. Yes, we'll send people there eventually, no need to worry. But right now I just want these, these harvested. So let's wait for people to come on and get it. Make as much use of this as possible. And I actually don't know how many plants it... I guess this whole thing is just the one batch. Huh. Oh, and we got some straw! Do they take the straw with them? <gasps> We've started to make a haystack! Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. That bit of straw we gained from the rye, and then we're probably going to get more straw from the barley. I love it. I love it. I'm assuming it deteriorates over time if you don't use it, though. Which kind of sucks. But I still love it. Oh, that's so exciting. That's so exciting. We still have to work hard to get that final point. Um, so that we can unlock a new technology, but guys, I think we're going pretty good. We managed to have a berth, we started building up a haystack, we actually got some, some cereals, half of some cereals, and a new settlement just joined, I mean a new human just joined the settlement. Who? 
I don't know, but someone did. And another one! Okay, guys. Where are you at? I, I, see, one of the things I wish we could do is actually see who has joined the settlement. But look at that already. Okay. As soon as we expand again, we have one more berth. I am going to put down another hut, which should be fun. Oh, that's so exciting. I hope they take down some, some trees over here. Or I guess we could move a hut back here somewhere. We'll have to see. But anyways, guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.